Once upon a time, nestled in a small village, there lived a wise old monk known for his peaceful nature and profound wisdom. People from far and wide would seek his counsel, hoping to find solace and guidance in his serene presence. The villagers held great respect for the monk and often turned to him for advice whenever they faced challenges in their lives. One day, a villager named Ravi found himself in a perpetual state of anger. He had an unyielding temper that flared up at the slightest provocation, causing him great distress and creating conflicts with those around him. Desperate for a solution, Ravi decided to visit the wise old monk in the hopes of finding a remedy for his uncontrollable anger. Ravi arrived at the humble abode of the monk, greeted by the gentle rustle of the wind and the sweet fragrance of blooming flowers. He approached the monk, his face marked by frustration and agitation. The wise old monk welcomed him with a serene smile and gestured for Ravi to sit. Ravi poured out his heart, expressing his anguish over his inability to control his anger. He spoke of the damaged relationships, the hurtful words he uttered, and the regret that haunted him afterward. Ravi desperately sought guidance, hoping the wise old monk held the key to his transformation. The monk listened attentively, his eyes filled with compassion. After a moment of silence, the wise old monk began to speak softly, sharing a parable that contained the essence of his wisdom. In a distant kingdom, the monk began. There was a powerful and tyrannical king. He was infamous for his explosive anger, causing his subjects to tremble in fear whenever he lost his temper. One day, the king heard tales of a serene and peaceful monk who resided in a nearby temple. Intrigued, the king summoned the monk to his palace, seeking to learn the secret behind his unwavering calmness. The monk arrived at the grand palace, humble and serene, and swayed by the opulence that surrounded him. The king, eager for answers, asked the monk, How do you remain so peaceful in the face of adversity? How do you control your anger? The wise monk smiled gently and replied, Your majesty, imagine a situation where someone offers you a gift, but you refuse to accept it. To whom does the gift then belong? The king pondered for a moment before answering, well, if I refuse the gift, it still belongs to the person who offered it. The monk nodded approvingly, precisely your majesty. In the same way, anger is like a gift offered to you. If you choose not to accept it, it remains with the person who brought it. Ravi listened intently, absorbing the profound lesson hidden within the monk's story. He realized that his anger had always been a choice, and by refusing to accept it, he could break free from its hold. The power to control his emotions resided within him all along. Touched by the wisdom of the monk, Ravi bowed in gratitude. With renewed hope, he thanked the monk for showing him the path to inner peace and pledge to practice. The art of letting go of anger. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months. Ravi diligently applied the monk's teachings in his life, gradually overcoming his anger. He learned to pause before reacting, to observe his emotions, and to choose love and compassion over rage. The village soon witnessed a transformation in Ravi. His interactions became kinder, his words gentler, and his presence filled with tranquility. The villagers marveled at the change they saw in him and found 
inspiration in his journey of self-discovery and transformation. They began to approach Ravi, seeking guidance on how to manage their own anger and find inner peace. And so the tale of the wise old monk, Ravi, and the transformative power letting go of anger continued to inspire generations, reminding them that true strength lies not in succumbing to anger, but in rising above it with love and compassion. It became a story that touched the hearts of all who heard it. And indeed, after witnessing this remarkable journey, one could never be the Sam forever transformed and freed from the shackles of anger.